Next up from Jason, which, so, so the question was, which U.S. men's national team player are you most excited to see in World Cup qualifying? He then later followed up and said, I mean World Cup. Mr. Tamburello, who is it and why is it Omir Fernandez? Go. Until Omir officially gets a cap, I can't say him. It's <laughs> um, a good question. I feel like the obvious answer is Del Torre, but I don't want to pick him just to be obvious, but I'm probably going to go with him for the sole reason that it's not Sebastian Legette and he knows how to pass the ball forward. Um, no, I think especially with McKinney injured, um, you know, there's only a few like fringe roster spots that are up for grabs. And I think he's easily, well, now looking back, proven that he belongs there and should be a big part of this team moving forward. But yeah, I think, I think especially this upcoming summer or definitely in 2026 when the World Cup comes home, then he'll he'll be a big part of this team. The worst part about having all three of us back is Adam gets to steal all of my answers because that was my answer. I was hyped to watch Luca De La Torre. Um, I will go with Pifak, Jordan Pifak. Uh, after a 26 goals in the Swiss League this year, uh, I'm sure he's making a move at some point soon. Uh, but he is playing in the Europa League, which is the same league as Barcelona. So massive. Um, but he has been subpar for the men's national team as of late. Um, obviously, the Mexico game was not his sh- shining moment. But I think he's got a ton of room to improve and be successful against teams um, in this World Cup, um, just based out of the way he plays. And if he can get on uh, quickly with the players around him, I think he can make a really big difference. So I will go Pifak. That's a Mr. good answer. Wright. I'm going Gaga Slanina because Greg, if you're listening to this and you let him walk to Poland, we're starting <laughs> riots in the streets. <laughs> and we're all Legends going to support Canada. We are following them to every game they play at home and riding on the field. <laughs> yeah. If, if he goes to Poland, Greg should be fired on the spot. I don't care. If it's like the day before the World Cup starts, fire him on the spot. On the spot, let's get. We'll take. We'll take uh, Dempsey out of the booth. He'll coach the team. It'll be great. If we cap tie him and he does his one time switch, does Greg still get fired? Yes. If Kako Sinina does not spend his entire international career in a U.S. shirt. Even if Greg is not the manager, you hire him for a one-day contract and fire him before the day is over. <laughs> I love that. Right into my veins. <laughs> um, Jason, the number one supporter of the podcast, consistently retweeting retweets and shares more than Connor does. That's not true. Uh, it is true. Absolute goat of a guy. Um, wait, I forgot to switch my scarf. Well, it's too late now. No, it's not. FC Cincinnati. They can't even spell Cincinnati right on their scarf. <laughs> it's a German <laughs> scarf. Oh my God. <laughs> FC Cincinnati. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I love it. I also was going to put one on. I was going to put this one on when you came because, you know, massive FCC fan yourself. You think, that's how they sign, you think that's how they sign players like, oh, you're going to go to FC Cincinnati and it sounds like they're going to play in the Bundesliga and then they show up in Ohio. <laughs> like, hmm, Could you imagine? <laughs> um, Jason, we appreciate your support of the podcast, your question, and for just overall being a top lad. So thank you. Thank you.